Hi, in this video, we are going to learn the reaction of formaldehyde with ammonia. That is, we are going to react 6 formaldehyde. 6 H C H O. Okay, we are going to react it with 4 molecule of ammonia. 4 N H 3. What happens? Very simple. The 6 oxygen and this 12 hydrogen will get eliminated as 6 H 2 O. That is, 6 water molecule will be released. Then, here, 6 CH2 are there. So, CH2 6 times. Here, how many nitrogens are remaining? 4 nitrogens are remaining. So, it will get attached to this. 4 nitrogen. This is called as hexamethylene tetraamine. Let us write the name for the structures. This is formaldehyde. And this is ammonia. What is this? Hexamethylene. Because CH2. So, this is called as methylene. So, hexa. Six molecules are there. Hexamethylene. Four amines are there. So, tetraamine. Hexamethylene, tetraamine. Let's summarize the reaction. Formaldehyde reacts with ammonia to form hexamethylene tetraamine. This is also called as eurotropine. This is also called as eurotropine. We are going to write the structure of eurotropine. The eurotropine will be arranged in this manner. That is, uh, six CH2 molecules are there and four nitrogens are there. All these things will be arranged in this manner. Nitrogen. Here, CH2. CH2 just as a benzene ring but it will be something different nitrogen here CH2 here nitrogen to this in between this area here CH2 here nitrogen here CH2 CH2 okay the remaining things will get attached in this manner This structure is known as eurotropin. Okay. This has several uses. Let's learn the uses of eurotropin. Eurotropin is used in medicine for the treatment of urinary infection. Okay. In order to cure the urinary infection, this eurotropin is used. And the nitration of eurotropin under controlled condition gives an explosive or DX. Okay. It is also uh, called cyclonite or cyclotrimethylene trinitramine. Okay, which is called as an explosive. Thank you.